So for 100% of your church to be engaged, you need a giving platform that's empowering. And Give that Church empowers you in some really new and exciting ways to get more people giving. Um, there's uh, three ways we're going to talk about, two of which are, are new. Hidden links, or sorry, action links and hidden designations. So I want to start with action links. With Give.Church, we're launching something called action links. And action links um, are a way to create a link to any action or any gift on the platform. So this will increase your giving and make it a lot more simpler to give. So how does this work? For example, if your church is raising money and you want to ask everyone to give $25 to a foreign missions trip, you can create an action link and with an exact amount of money and a designation already filled out. That way, when the action link is clicked, it will be preloaded with that information. So here's an example, if you look at my screen, of what that would look like on Facebook. If I shared an action link my church had given me, now see, when I load this link, it's already pre-filled for $25 for foreign missions. So if you're doing a campaign and you're saying, hey, we want to ask everyone to give $25 for foreign missions, you can send that action link to everyone in your church, and when they click it, the link, it's already pre-filled. I actually used this um, with my church just a couple weeks ago because it was my birthday. And so I posted an action link on Facebook and I asked um, all my friends to give uh, $28 to my church to a specific fund. And I posted on Facebook and 24 of my friends gave to my church, 21 of which had never even been to my church before, which was amazing. So action links are a way to um, really get the community involved in the generosity of your church, not just even the people. It's a way to get the people in your church involved, but even go beyond the walls of your church. Um, action links are also um, not just limited to giving, but you can use them for, um, for actions on the gift platform as well. So you can use them for editing your account or editing recurring giving. So what you he see here is, you know, we mentioned ACH is a new feature. So you may want to have people switch to ACH, especially if they're giving by card. With action links, you can create an action link to send someone directly to the interface to add their bank account. What that looks like is what you'll see in this video here. So if I get an email from my church saying, hey, would you add a bank account to increase your giving? Then I click the action link and it's links directly to my bank account. All I need to do is put in my routing number and my account number and click save. And from then on, I'm going to be giving a lot more to my church and a lot less to credit card companies, as, as I kind of said earlier. So action links are going to help your church reach 100% participation. It's something we're really excited about um, being able to offer. Another <coughs> aspect of Give.Church, another powerful tool uh, to reach 100% participation is hidden designations. So hidden designations allow you to set up designations that can be linked to but do not show up on your standard list. So the example here is say you want to empower each person on a missions trip to fundraise. You could set up a hidden designation for them so that they can use it and have their own unique link, but it doesn't have to complicate the giving experience for all the other people who are just going to your Give.Church page to give. Hidden designations simplify the giving experience for the majority of your givers while also empowering you um, to give something to people who want to raise money for special projects or for special purposes. So this is another really uh, powerful, empowering feature. The final one, and this isn't one we counted towards the 13, um, is, uh, is the new materials. Um, the new materials, um, we didn't count it because we already have materials and uh, hopefully you're all using them. And as I said at the beginning of this presentation, you can keep using those. Um, I just want to make clear with Give.Church, all those instructions will still work. People will still be able to use those instructions. Um, but with that said, we will be updating them and improving them. And so this is another way we want to empower you. We're going to update and improve them, and we're going to uh, expand them and, uh, and provide more tools. So right now we provide just kind of a slide and a video, but we'll be providing tools for your website, for social media, et cetera. So there'll be a lot of new tools here. 